downside of using an induction coil heater to forge with at blacksmithing. Anything over a half inch diameter, the outside of the metal heats too rapidly. So let's take this three quarter inch bar for instance. If I heated it like I did on this end, just heated it straight to a white hot heat where it just started to spark. Not quite welding where you're getting a lot of sparks, but it's just starting to spark. It's white hot. That's where you really want to forge at because it moves the metal real easily. If I took it out of there and just started whacking it on the anvil, it's going to split because the heat didn't soak through to the metal. So on the other end, what I did is I let it heat about halfway, let it soak through, and then I heated the rest of the way until the same spark come out of it, and then I pounded it on the anvil against the anvil and no fractures. So that's something you have to be aware of when you use an induction coil heater is it heats the outside of the bar too rapidly on anything thicker than a half inch.